Mike Jones here with Ken's. It's 2017. New technology, new design, new installs, new pricing. Let's get inside and check it all out. All right, check this out. January 2017, Happy New Year to you. And here is a gift to you. This is a deal. Alpine, right? This is what they call a matched product setup. What that means is you get an Alpine amplifier that's a mono block. This is made for bass. You get a box that is a vented, which means it hits harder. It has two 12-inch Alpine Type S subs, and it comes with all the power cables and we install it for free. Now, the only other charge you might incur is if you have a factory radio, there's a little adapter that runs around $20 that you'll have to have to make a factory radio work with this, but check it out, $299 with free installation. What in the world? All right, Polaris Ranger, this is Brody. This is Brody's machine right here. Brody, we got some good stuff in here, don't we? That's what I'm talking about. Now, we got JL Audio, right? Got a JL amplifier that you asked to be mounted way up here in the dash, right? Okay, you got JL Marine speakers down here. Check this out, folks. These are the JL Marine speakers. Now, these go anywhere from about 199 bucks and up, and they're completely weatherproof, which is nice. You can get a sound demo in a minute. He's got his phone linked in through this new JL MB piece. Check this piece out right here. This lights up and allows me to control the phone. So if I want to put the phone away in the glove box so it doesn't get wet if you get all crazy and muddy, this allows me to pause it, play it, turn it up, the whole nine yards. These are only around 100 bucks, right? Speaker's 199 bucks. Amplifier starting at 199 bucks, right? So at the end of the day, what does it sound like, right? Brody, let's hear some music, brother. Turn it up. He got full control right here. All right, so Brody's got the phone, he can control it. Or I can control it right here. I can even change tracks right here, and this is completely weatherproof. So if I wash this thing off of the water hose, it doesn't hurt anything. All right, Brody, hit pause for me. How do you like it? Good. It's awesome. It's so a Polaris Ranger, bada bing, bada bang, that rocks. We love our music from Ken's. All right, now, here we are, listen, and we, we do a lot of residential type setups for security cameras because what it comes down to is folks want to know what's going on outside, especially from a situation where, like, just recently, someone broke into our church over off of Houston, and the idea was he walked in, right, he looked at two different cameras while he was stealing the products, right, so the whole idea behind that is here he is stealing the products, and he's looking at the cameras. Well, all we did was zoom in on his face because they're high-definition cameras. We could see every detail of his face, and within, I would say, one hour and 30 minutes, they found out he lived 10 houses down the road and they picked him up and it was done. The bad news is he's only 19 years old and here he is on this crazy offense all because he wanted to steal $46 worth of product from our church. Makes no sense. However, we like to know what's going on outside. At my house, we constantly have the grid up on our TV when I'm because I come home late. So they just like to know what's going on outside, right? The cameras are day and night. So when you see a camera like that, it will see in the day and it will see in the nighttime. So even when it's over like cloud and overcast like it is now, it sees perfectly clear. Now, that being said, this is what you have to see. Look at the clarity of this camera. I mean, look at that. That's us, right? So I can go into here and I can see anything I want to see. I love the fact that there's your front door view and you can actually zoom in, right? So if I want to zoom into this thing, I can take this and hit this button here and it allows me to see, hey, who is that in my driveway? Look at the clarity of what's going on there, right? You actually have a way to do this in a grid too. So I can see the whole grid. This is like inside their garage. Look at this clarity. Look at the amazing of that clarity. Now, the idea is to let us come out and pick out because in a single story house like this where we have lots of access in the attic and you have crawl space, it's easy to get the cables where they need to get. But when you do in a three story house like we're doing out here in Gray, Georgia in about two days, when you have a three story house and there's no access, we need to come out and evaluate the situation so we can make sure you're buying the right products for that particular situation. These cameras right here are domes. They also come in a bullet style, which is kind of like those long ones, right? And they call it bullet, that look like a bullet if that makes sense. And then go, and they have a longer range if you want. These will see anywhere from about 75 to 125 foot but you know if you want to look at the backyard let me just show you this too you need to have this kind of clarity so you can see what's going on look at this I mean, there's your backyard view right look at this and this is just amazing that you can see this much detail and that way you always know what's going on look at that isn't that amazing right now you get a two-year warranty on it and it comes with one tv set in the package packages start at 16.99 and up plus the remote viewing from your phone of course you have to have internet for this part to work you're probably seeing a cutaway right now because we tied into one of your televisions in the house a lot of times you don't want a separate monitor and a lot of times you do but if you don't we will tie it into whichever tv you want in the house i actually have it on my living room and my bedroom tv but as you're seeing a cutaway of theirs right now it's nice just to be able to hit a button and flip over and see the whole 
grid of what's going outside. Now, keep in mind, it's recording 24 hours a day. It never stops recording. When that time comes and something does go wrong or something goes bad, which I pray that it doesn't, we'll come out and put a thumb drive in, save it, and download it for you so you can hand it to the cops to take care of business. Y'all, y'all got to call me. The estimate's real. I'm sure my number's coming up on the phone. I'll come out and we'll evaluate. Again, packages start at $16.99, two-year warranty right out of the gate, and full HD. That's nice. All right, this looks like a cooler now, doesn't it? But then you see this logo and you realize this probably not it's just a regular old cooler. This is Alpine. They're going to make a couple of versions of this. New is cooler. Cooler, right? It has two tweets, two mid-range, and two 4x8 passive base radiators, 180 watts of power. Now, I know you're sitting there going, well, let me say that again. Because you get your cooler, this thing will hold, are you ready? This for 72 12 ounce cans. It has a drain plug in the back, which is fantastic. This is a real deal cooler, right? That you can plug into the wall and jam. Now, you're saying, how awesome is that? Think about it. You get out to the lake, plug this thing in the wall, bada bing, bada bang, 180 watts of power. Listen to this thing. Do you hear this thing? That is absolutely nuts. I mean, look at this thing. Boom. Close it up. Got the big straps on it here. Got carrying pulls here. Folks, you got to come into Bacon and Warner Robins and check out the new Alpine coolers because the season is coming, baby. All right, now. Here's what you got to know. When you come into a room like this, we've done this house, um, not this particular house, but we've done work for this family two or three times in a row. And when, he, when we did this room, he said, this time I want to do a big TV. Well, this is a big TV. This is Sony 75 inch 4K, right? So this is going to have 4,000 lines of resolution, 8 million pixels. This is a super thin design as you're seeing now with David. All right, so he said he wanted to have surround sound in here, but he didn't want to have to have a, necessarily a dedicated theater, but he wanted kind of a media room for the living room. So these speakers that you see up here, which are perfectly placed by my men, these are the clips called the 5800s. They are a THX certified reference speaker, but I love the magnetic grills as you see, because they can be painted through if they want to. This particular ceiling was already white. So he has five speakers in here. We did a 5.1, but those speakers, remember if I've told you before, they pivot inside their own can, what makes it easy for us to go to the far corner and turn the speaker where it's firing in without having a speaker hanging on the wall. So if you've ever seen a speaker hanging on the wall, there's just nothing beautiful about that. It works and it's functional, but this is like having a speaker on the wall. Now, the good news about that is they only take about five watts to run them. They hold 250 watts of power, right? And they have a lifetime warranty. We did a powered sub in this room, which we hid, which will be in this, this corner right here, which this is not to hide the sub, but the idea is it gets out of the way in an area that you don't use anyway. Right now you're seeing a cutaway of the outside because we have a zone two amplifier in here that allows him to send a signal of sound and video. We put a TV on outside, the TV that came from the old house. We got to move into here. We got to put the big TV in here and put the other TV out there. It kind of makes good use of it. It's on the back porch. So now he can have two different programs going or the same program go going at the same time. And this remote control works radio frequency. It works everywhere. All the equipment is down that hallway in a closet, right? So you got to let us come out because like I said, what, what takes for all this to be at 100% is amazing. These guys are up in the attics and they're in the crawl space and they're pulling HD cables and they're pulling power and surge protectors and putting them all in place. And what you all see is all the pretty stuff, but these guys come out of here with cobwebs and spiders and dirt and all kind of stuff on stuff that none of us want to do. And this is what these guys are passionate about doing is when we get done, the bada bing, bada bang moment is, uh, is what it's all about. Now, you need to call me. The estimate is free. The, the number is coming up on the screen right now. And let me come out and design a theater for you. We always hit budget and we always have service. Everybody's got to be on the route. What's cool about this is this TV was from the other house, right? And we come in and we tie this into a Yamaha amplifier that's back in the middle of the house so you don't have to have an amp outside. These speakers are made to be outside, so he can actually have this Survivor playing and he can have music playing out of those at the same time or he can just have the same thing playing at the same time. He was just talking about how it's great for football. But isn't it amazing how you have so much sound you're out here on this porch area and then we have a cover that we put on it that allows us to cover it up to kind of winterize it to keep the bugs and all the crazy stuff out of it. So. This is really awesome. And listen, folks, when you go to the bigger TV, this is the perfect thing to do with the old TV that you bought from Ken's. And these Yamaha speakers, by the way, price-wise, are anywhere from $99 a piece and up. And that is how it is done. Hey, I'm Hunter, and uh, 
I, uh, this is my third time using Kins to install in my home. Uh, the reason that I decided to use these guys three times is one, they do a professional job. I wanted a surround sound TV system that didn't have any wires showing. I wanted professional installation, and I know these guys are the best. I've done it, uh, this is, the, like I said, the third time I've done this with them. And uh, this was a little bit of a unique situation where I wanted the speakers in the ceiling and uh, a TV on the inside and the outside of my house. And I knew there was only one person to call and uh, that was Ken's. So I encourage everyone to, to use them. They do a fantastic job. They're professional. If you have an issue, they will come right back out and make sure that everything's taken care of. All right, now, Klipsch has an entire line called Reference. They have an entire line called uh, THX. They have an entire line that's called the Heritage Line. It's where they started. They just had their 70th anniversary, Paul Klipsch being American-made, Hope, Arkansas. The whole thing started in 1946. They're an amazing company, and he basically had this idea is the more dispersion from a wide dispersion and the more efficient a speaker can be, the better and accurate it will be in reproducing music. That is what Klipsch does. From day one, I've known this brand since I was born, so this is the way they work. Now, they had their 70th anniversary, and they have a 70th anniversary series of their heritage lines. So they have a California walnut, and this is a special uh, uh, blend of wood here, and then they have Indian rosewood right here. And these are special, again, there is only 70 pair of each of these heritages made. They have a special grill that you can order for it, a different logo. They are amazing. I'm going to give you a little sound bite here with a little bit of Elvis Presley to give you an idea about accuracy. Listen at this thing. Listen. Highs, the mids, the lows, best sounding speaker ever heard. These are the blacks right here that are playing. And for you techies, it takes one watt to drive them to their potential. Listen. That's amazing. Now, something else unique, check this out on the back here. Each one of these heritages that are celebration, they're signed off by the person that built it. And they're also serial numbers and serial numbers that match. And the reason that matters to you is even the grain of wood, this grain of wood, is an exact match to its left or right side of the speaker. So all the grains of the wood match exactly. Back in the 70s, they did that, and it was very, very hard for them to do because they could only make one pair or two pair per piece of wood, if that makes sense. So this is a very expensive process. So know that when you get a pair of these, you are a Mac Daddy special with there only being 70 pair. Come into the making in the Warner Robin store and display and listen to these new heritage speakers. They are ridiculous. Now, that is Alpine's Type S. And let me tell you, if you are a Ford F-150 owner or a Mustang owner, Ford Fusion, they have the standard size is what they call a 6x8 or a 5x7. These Alpine speakers come in what they call a Type S, which is here, and this is a Type R. And the difference is the way they hold their power, the way that one needs an amplifier, one does not need an amplifier. But listen at this. When you come in, these are an exact fit. Notice, they will go in your Ford door with no modification. They're going to be, these right now, for this next month, these are going to be on sale for $109, so $109 bucks for the pair, plus we install them for free. And these are going to be on sale for $189 for the pair. And you need to just come into both the stores and listen to a little sound bite of each. Now, this is the Alpine sale that I've got going. JL Audio has exactly the same setup for you guys with the Ford and the Ford World. And these right here are going to be in sale anywhere from $99 to $149, depending on which series that you choose. And also Pioneer, if you're going to back up right here for me, Pioneer is going to have their four-way on sale for just $99 for the pair. And the reason I bring that to you is we do a lot of Ford vehicles, and this is the size that fits. Now, in the Chevrolet world, in the Dodge world, in the Toyota world, they all are going to be six by nines and six and a halves, and they're going to start anywhere as low as if you get into the Quantum Audios of $59 for a pair, all the way up to about $249 for a pair for the nicest six by nine. So when you come in, make sure you get with these guys and pick the one that fits in your vehicle. I had a guy come in the other day and says, I don't know why my stuff didn't work right. He had not bought anything from us yet. Well. I mean, he had a six and a half inch speaker and a six by nine hole, if that makes sense. So square peg, round hole, don't work, right? It didn't have any sound because it wasn't built for the vehicle. And that's what these guys do when you come into one of the superstores is choose those products wisely. Now, my favorite radio for this month, when your vehicle holds what they call a double den, this is a single den, right? This is a double den, which is basically two of that, right? Yeah. This is Pioneer's new double den, and this is AM, FM, CD. It does have a USB thumb drive input and an aux input. Now, listen to this. This has a 200-watt amplifier, and you can actually change the colors to any color you want. So when you go 
into the illumin illumination, you can change. I mean, you can do anything you want. Well, look at that. Isn't that just the craziest thing in the world? And it just gives you a lot of freedom with this particular radio. Listen to this. It's on sale for $199 with free installation. Of course, if you need a kit or a harness, we can figure all that at the moment. But I'm letting you know this was $299 just two months ago. For 199 bucks, you get really one of the nicest and best sounding radios that we carry. Now, we're going to still have the $89 Pioneer AM FM CD. That's kind of one of our one of our faves that we did all the way through Christmas. I'm going to maintain that price. And our Bluetooth radios are going to start anywhere from 129 bucks and up. So when you come into one of the stores, make sure you look at touchscreens. These things are super affordable now, anywhere from $199 and up. But when you buy one of the touchscreens, make sure you talk to the guys about the TR7. That's a relay that allows the DVD function to work. So if you're driving down the road and you got people in your car that want to watch a movie, not you while you're driving, you need that feature to unlock that so you can drive and be able to view a movie. So we got base packages starting at just 249 bucks. So get into the making of one arm store 2017. The deals are on. Now, you know, most folks know us only for because about the big giant 75 and 85 inch LEDs, but we do TVs anywhere from 22 inches and up, right? So when you come into the making in the one arm store, you got to look at this bevy. That's right. I said bevy. Bevy of LED TVs anywhere from smart to the not so smart, smart like myself. But listen, we got a lot of really good packages, and that's where it comes into Ken's is because of service and because of those packages. Now, let me show you this package we got going right now. It's going to be a 65 inch LED 4K, right? Going to be a Yamaha soundbar, which has the Bluetooth built in, and a Sony Blu ray, which, yes, it does play CDs, DVDs, Blu rays, and it has all your smart features built into the Blu ray. But now, listen, I want you to hear this because, listen. This is the number one thing people talk about is they can't hear. Listen. $2,000, and that is going to be the number one car so far. Very. Uh, See what I'm saying? In other words, TVs don't sound good, and everybody that comes in says, do I need a sound bar? You do need a sound bar. This new package can be $1,199, 65-inch 4K, Yamaha sound bar, Sony Smart Blu-ray, $1,199, and that comes with free delivery and setup. Boom. Here we are in the attic running some wire. We have all of our HVAC. We're carefully walking to the front of the house here. This is a R1650W. This is actually an in-wall speaker. You're probably seeing a cutaway now of what it looks like from the actual home side. But this is what we do to make it possible to make those speakers look so beautiful in your house that we're trying to get around here so that we can run our wire. We're actually gonna run a wire. This is a can light, and we're actually gonna put another speaker here. So I'm going to grab that wire now. And this is actually the top of a fireplace. So you see all of our wire coming from our hole. And that's your fireplace in there. Nice and safe. I have all of our wires tied off. And obviously we don't want this insulation in your house because it's supposed to stay on top of your house so i'm going to actually move some of this away here make that nice and clean so that we don't have a bunch of insulation in the house put the wire there so when we cut the speaker out we can hook our speaker up and that is how that is done all right now let me tell you i'm so honored for 2017 we have picked up an, an amazing furniture company that kind of caters to what we do, audio and video. And what I have found is when you want pine or you want mahogany or you want walnut and you want all these special flavors and all these kind of cool rustic looks, I'm sure you're going to see a cutaway right now of just some of the ideas of cabinets that I'm keeping in stock. But I have a huge catalog and what happens is starting at about $399 and they're real wood. The idea is you can come in, we can measure the TV, measure the cabinet, make sure it fits your decor or your room. But I had a gentleman come in the other day who said, man, I really want a raw pine look and I have it in stock. It's kind of cool. They're going to come anywhere from about 42 inches wide all the way up to about 70 inches wide in case you buy a 75 inch TV. Since a 75 inch TV is 68 inches wide, it makes sense and you don't have it hanging off the side of the cabinets, right? They're real wood. You can get them with casters, drawers, glass doors, stained. I mean, anything you can possibly imagine. So when you come into the making of Warner Rhyme store, if you don't see it in stock, which I would be shocked since I'm keeping 15 different model numbers in stock. If you don't see it, just look through the catalog with special order. It takes about five to seven days to have it in my hands, which is unlike the furniture world all by itself. And most furniture that you see that has this type of texture, they're always like a thousand to two thousand dollars. And these things are like three ninety nine to seven ninety nine. Awesome.
All right, now at Overcoming Fellowship Church, which is 726 Edgewood Avenue, Macon, Georgia, right down by Mercy University, where Dr. McLean is making a huge, huge turnaround on this church. They are growing. Now, we did audio, we did video, we rewired the entire, I mean, the whole shooting match. And when you're dealing with a church that's 30, 40, 50 plus years old with concrete walls, you got to get a little creative, right? So let's get inside and see what these folks are doing. They're worshiping. Awesome. All right, now in the speaker world, there's so many folks when we come out and do a church, they'll buy, and I'm keeping this up a little bit for you here, that they just buy too much. PB has a series called PBX. Amazing. I'm going to let you walk out here, David. Watch your step. But these are, they come in a 12 and a 15, but listen at the clarity of this speaker. That's a concrete block wall. You notice we ran a conduit up in the ceiling to keep it all nice and concealed. But it's amazing the throw, right? In other words, it throw, you're throwing all the way back there. You're talking 50 feet back. And it only required two of those to fill this whole thing up. Listen, huge clarity, great bass response, right? These speakers start at $200 and up, depending on what size woofers you get. And they hold 1,200 watts of power. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to cut away to the mics now and let you hear how they sound. All right, now these podium mics, as you hear, they're amazing sound quality, right? These are going to be anywhere from $150 to $250, depending on what you need. And they also now make, if you're a taller person, like you're going to see a church on uh, next month that we did in Jackson, Georgia, he's six foot eight. So they make a 23 inch version of this 18 inch podium mic that keeps it really easy. But you see, I don't have to lean into it to speak. It's got a huge open cardoid right here that allows me to speak from while I'm back here if I'm trying to read scripture or trying to preach, right? These are the same type of microphones that work on those hanging mics right there for the choir. Because they have this open filament, it picks up at 178 degrees and you get a lot of use and you don't have to have more than two of those mics for the whole choir back there, right? Not undermining um, the microphone world, you can do handheld, you can do wireless, you can do lapel like I'm wearing right here. But the main thing to remember is the right mic, to choose the right mic is very, very important because of feedback. And as you can tell, I've got speakers there, speakers there, microphones there, microphone here, and there's no feedback whatsoever. And listen at the clarity, right? So let me come out to the church because there's a lot that goes into a church, especially a church like this, when you get into 30, 40, 50 plus years old with concrete block walls, there's a lot that goes into the access of getting cables where they need to go, right? You're going to see a lot of cutaways over the next months. I've got my installers are going to show you what they really do to get the turnkey product like this. So here we are in the worship, in the worship, this worship center here for these folks. You need to get out here and worship them and see what they got going on with God. It is amazing. All right, in the flat panels, the most amazing part is choosing the right size. You can put a 50 inch, this is 55, you can do 65, but you'll be amazed at how far you can see a flat panel. So this is the new 55 inch higher. It is a 4K LED, it's amazing. And as you see, we can throw whatever scripture we want up there, throw whatever backgrounds we want up there. We can use your computer or we can custom build you a computer that has ProPresenter built into it. But it's really nice to not have to have the hymnals in your hands and you can just worship God and look forward while you're doing your singing. You can put your church bulletins up there. As you're seeing, all these examples are coming up. It's just amazing what you can do on these preview monitors. And we can put two in the front and one in the back or whatever fits your fancy. But this is a must in the modern church, absolutely. Hi, uh, Jerome McLean, pastor of Overcoming Fellowship uh, Church here in Macon, Georgia. We would love for you to join us in worship uh, on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, we have Sunday school at 9 and Bible study on Wednesday at uh, 6.30. We'd love to have you, but I'd also like to talk to you about Ken's Stereo. What a wonderful company who was able to come in and provide for us our system, uh, gave us the, 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 the way to be able to finance it and uh, it was just tremendous uh, service and even when we got it wrong and wanted to to redo some of uh, our mic systems and placement uh, Ken came and redid it without uh, just just uh, with with a smile and so we thank him uh, so much for helping our congregation and providing uh, what you really need today's time for listeners and especially young people. Uh, and so we, we are loving it. It made a tremendous difference to me as a pastor preaching. So, uh, hey, if you want a system, 
Ken would be the one to go to. Let me tell you, I have been a strong supporter. Our family has been a strong supporter of the Boys and Girls Club of Central Georgia for over a decade. I did 10 years of service on their board myself, and I am telling you, they are a major, major benefit to the Middle Georgia area and these youth in this amazing direction and leadership that is being taught. Now, the Boys and Girls Club of Central Georgia is hosting their first Youth of the Year celebration and Hall of Fame induction on February the 9th at the Anderson Conference Center. Now, the event will honor Bobby Pope, whom I love, and Zelma Reddy, whom I love, into the Boys and Girls Club Hall of Fame. The Boys and Girls Club 2017 Youth of the Year winner will be announced at the event and receive a scholarship and will go on to compete in the Georgia statewide competition. Now, Youth of the Year embodies the values of leadership, service, academic excellence, and healthy lifestyles. They exemplify the critical impact that the Boys and Girls Clubs have on the lives of young people in Middle Georgia since 1938. Now, tickets are $50, and the proceeds for the event benefit after-school programming and summer camp for Central Georgia's youth. Support your local Boys and Girls Club. It is awesome. All right, here we go. First show of the year for 2017, kind of wrapping up the show. But listen, how much crazy stuff have we got to put our mittens in in the last 30 days since you've seen us on the 2016 show? It's pretty cool, right? And listen, I, let me throw out some things. On the social media side, I want to say this to you. You know, I, I want you to go on to Yelp, and I want you to go on to Google, I want you to go on to Facebook, and of course Instagram, and follow us there. I'm sure you're seeing those symbols come up. But listen, if you've had a great experience at Ken's, which I hope and pray that you have, and we've done everything by the book, I would love for you to post that and let folks know that you know that we do a great job, right? If you've had a bad experience or maybe something didn't go exactly like it was, before you go and post something, would you do me the favor, just reach out to me or my brother, my phone number's coming up on the screen right now, and give me an opportunity to make whatever needs to be made right, make right, because guess what? We do make mistakes. It happens every once in a while. We may not get to the end of the deal right there. We may not finish the install exactly just right, but I want you to know, in my heart, and from everything that I am as an as a owner of this company and my brother, we want it to be everything that we promise. So I put that attitude out there to say, look, social media is a wonderful thing, but let, let's all make sure we use it in the right way. Middle Georgia's only in-store service. We got no credit check financing, which is a very big deal, right? We have two years no interest financing going right now, which is super nice. You know we do the installations, right? You know in the car world we do free installations, which is really awesome. Now, you got to come out there and see us in Ken's and Warner Robins at Superstore right there at 2040 Watson Boulevard in Macon at 3695 Mercer University Drive. And then our Pro Sound store is right next door, which does all the PA equipment. We do a lot of commercial and a lot of churches, right? In 2 Corinthians, it says, the old, the old is gone, the new is here. And what that is, is if you are in Christ, I mean, 16 is gone. We don't have to think about it. That's in our rear view mirror, right? Like everybody says, the rear view mirror is small and the windshield is big, so you can see what's coming in front of you. 2017 is here. I want you to serve Christ because the new is here. You gotta come see us at Ken's and make it. And Warner Rocks. Middle Georgia's number one sight and sound source. Go to Ken's. You ready, Brody? Hold on. You ready now, Brody? How about now? How about now? Are you ready now? What you doing, Dexter? I'm uh, rewiring a Dodge Dakota. That looks like fun. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. Is it the most fun you've ever had in your life? Well, just about. Do you love Ken's? Who? Ken's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're ready, just say I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, Brody? Hello. BJ, what you doing? I'm uh, fixing a backup camera. What you doing to it? Fixing a backup camera. You are? What else yes. are you doing? Uh, putting this radio back in the dash. Are you having the most money you've ever had in your whole life? Uh, no. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> Can you say something really sweet? Um, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, ready, set, go. All right, Larry. Well, no, not music. No. I, you missed my cue. I'm sorry. When I, <laughs> when I say all right, I start talking, then I'm going to tell you when to turn the music on. Okay, you ready? <laughs> 